Good morning, love muffins. How is everybody doing this morning? Hopefully, everybody had an amazing night. Hopefully, you slept good. I slept, but I, it wasn't that good because I was doing a lot of healing in my sleep. So, I didn't sleep too good, but um, I definitely had to go through my system and, and reboot some shit. <laughs> I had to go through and reboot some stuff. Um, I seen a video earlier today um, where this lady was talking about how she was in her soft girl era. Now, what she explained, she said, your soft girl era is you basically letting go of all the things that made you have to be in this tough girl energy. And I can totally relate. I'm at a point in my life now where if I can't be in my feminine energy around you, then I don't want you in my space. If I have to be defensive, if I can't express how I feel, if I can't, you know, um, be in this divine feminine energy, in my natural energy, then, you know, it, it's a strong no for me. But I thought that was really beautiful, um, the soft girl era. She said it ain't about, you know, getting your hair done and your nails done and, and pampering yourself. It's really about um, actually being able to thrive in your divine feminine energy. And I'm here for it, honey. I got to have that. And then I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this card. Oh, look, sisters of the season. Baby, I can't make it up. Divine order is what stood out to me. Natural law. I feel like, uh, especially when it comes to like higher vibration of beings, things have to be done in divine order. If not, they spirit team gonna pull them right out of there. And I can't even make it up. You can't compromise on integrity. Um, that's that's a strong. That's a must. Okay, spirit having pulling cards out. So we are gonna start right there then. Um, Thank you guys for your likes, y'all comments, y'all shares, and y'all subscribes. Y'all know I appreciate y'all so much. Um, well, we're going to get off into it so I can get my day started. I might take me another nap, though, because I'm still feel tired. Like I said, I was doing a lot of healing work in my sleep. So I wasn't really sleep. <laughs> I wasn't really sleep. Mm. my ancestors, my angels, my spirit guys, as well as my higher self to please assist me with this read. Any negative energy, we ask that it return to sender tenfold. Please remove any of my personal thoughts and feelings so that they do not influence the read. Espere, protege, manantara, tije, tije. I've been fasting for like the last two, three days. I might eat some food today. <laughs> I might eat today. Um, let's see. Let me get the first energy spirit. Somebody may be reflecting on something, but you're not judging anyone. I don't judge people. I, I feel like, they, look, three, two, one on the clock, Papa. I feel like people can only understand you from their perspective. Um, if they haven't done any healing work, then, yeah, that's not going to, um, the, the, I, yeah, I talked to a friend yesterday, and he keeps talking about how he keeps trying to have a conversation, you know what I'm saying, with um certain people and how it always goes left. And I just had to tell him, like, that's because y'all on two different frequencies. If y'all on two different frequencies, everything that you say to this person is going to be misconstrued because they can only understand you from their perception. And um, trying to have a conversation with somebody that's not on the same frequency as you is like talking to a brick wall. They'll never get the message. They'll never get the message. So you just frustrate yourself trying. And, I, and I'm that type of person. If I try to have a conversation with somebody and it goes left, I'll never try it again because I know that you only understand me from your perception. And, you know, it's okay. Everybody is at a different place in their journeys. <laughs> but that is funny and listen reflection to the non-judgmental once again the lady of the mirror i feel like someone may be um oh yeah someone may be reflecting back their own energy to someone um once again with this non-judgmental um, I don't feel like someone is judging anyone they just understand that someone is operating operating from a place of pain Mm. Yep. Thank you. Hey. 
We got the altar priestess. It was in reverse, but it flipped in the upright. So we're going to take that in the upright. It says preparation, prayer, and sacred ritual. Someone may work with the element of fire. Hmm. It might be a Leo. Let's see fire and lion to the sight. Someone may be also gifted spiritually. You may have the gift of sight. Give me two more fit. Someone may be this uh you someone may be preparing for something as well. Something that you prayed for. You may have um if you hadn't haven't, um, you may be being called to do a sacred ritual. Someone is being prepared for something. Listen, I can't make that shit up. Lady of the gift. Like, someone is preparing for a gift. I, <laughs> I can't make that shit up, baby. Listen. Prosperity, wealth. True prosperity. Material wealth. Yeah, someone, um... Listen, I'm looking over here and seeing... Uh, the, the, the shit, mighty Jupiter energy, baby. I ain't... I, I, Listen, and crack the deck on success, baby. I can't make it up. Somebody's 10th house. Become a person of power and status. But I feel like spiritually, someone is going to do this responsibly. Uh, what are we going from here, spirit? I got so many dang old cards. Like, I, don't, I really need to consult with spirit on what we're going to do before I sit down here. Listening to you, it says listen to your intuition and deal away with uh, addictions. I know I'm trying to stop smoking cigarettes. So, uh, listen, I can't make it up until the third hour. Um, yeah, it, <laughs> they say that stopping. Using nicotine is harder to kick than, than heroin. And I don't know about nobody else, but that's some shit they should have put on the package. <laughs> While y'all talking about the babies and the fetuses, y'all should have put that shit on the package. <laughs> like, real time. Listen, I can't even vacuum away your fears and release. Um, we got to vacuum away your fears in reverse. Um, someone may be um, living in fear. It says, call upon Archangel Michael and Raphael to lift your fear-based energy from you, your surroundings and this situation and everyone involved but then it says on here work with archangel michael to let go and no longer serves you or your purpose yeah i feel like somebody may be doing that exactly that and i feel like they may be letting someone go without judgment and that can be a person place or a thing so take it how it resonates give me something on this what are they preparing for well we see what they're preparing for We got the integral child. So this is someone that is a natural born leader. This may be somebody that once again, like I said before, goes against the grain. This isn't someone that um, follows the crowd. See a new opening. Yeah, somebody is going to step into a totally different life. Listen, I can't make it up. New opening to the freedom. Somebody's life is going to change dramatically. 
A lot of people gonna be watching that shit too with this attention card. Give me something on this altar pieces. Give me two for each one of these bit. What's this reflection and ju non-judgmental? I feel like somebody is very understanding. Listen, I can't make it up to the inner beauty. This inner beauty keeps coming out. It says, I open the eyes of my heart and direct my gaze to the light within every being. Yeah, I feel like somebody is non-judgmental. It's a person meant... Personality and physical appearance are in the image of man. Beauty and goodness is in the image of God. I feel like someone may um, look at people through their God eyes, you know, which is basically your third eye. Someone looks at someone's soul. They don't look at someone's exterior. Listen, I can't make it up. Divine light. I am an expression of love. I shine like the sun. Hey, Ra. <laughs> Say, my inner light is my strength and my treasure. My intuition guides me to discover the wonder and goodness of who I am. I feel like somebody knows exactly who they are. With this indigo child, I feel like someone knows that they are highly sensitive. Um, Someone knows that they are a leader. Or they're preparing to step into this leadership position. That's beautiful. Someone is very clear about their path. They're protected from lower vibrational energies. I feel in protection to the um, transformation in reverse. Like I said earlier, with that divine order, it's like if things aren't in order, somebody's spirit team is going to pull them out. There might have been a lot of passion in the connection, but someone trusts the, um, somebody trusts their spirit team. As you should. Give me two for each one of these spirits. What do we got? What's this altar princess? I see an observation in reverse. I feel like somebody didn't see this energy for what they were. You may not be in communication with this person. <laughs> mm -hmm. Listen, we got the hummingbird, the lightness. Um, I said earlier about releasing things that make you have to be in this, uh, be in um, defensive or, or masculine energy. It says it is time for you to pursue your dreams with determination. By doing this, you will make them a reality. Joy is just around the corner, but you have to believe that it is possible to manifest your vision. Stop waiting and doubting. Uh, listen, I can't make it up to the damn Scorpion. New beginnings. Somebody understands that, though. With this preparation to the prayer, to the... um sacred ritual. I feel like somebody is, is prepared. I don't feel like they have any doubt. With this inner beauty to the divine light, once again, somebody knows exactly who they are. It said, new beginnings. You are invited to instigate change. That's what this sacred ritual is about. It said, but you are also being warned that this transformation may be radical. What did I just say? Something is going to happen really fast. So uh, get rid of everything in your current life that can prevent you from improving. I'm telling you, anything that puts you in defensive hard energy, that is lower vibration. Move that shit around. Listen, I can't make it up. I get rid of everything in your current life that can prevent you from improving. Based on this principle, destroy before rebuilding. You are promised a beneficial rebirth. Baby, I can't make it up. And what's the beneficial rebirth? That. And that. Somebody is going to receive a gift for being um, obedient. Me. Mm, we got some beautiful things going on. I don't know about nobody other divine feminists, but I feel my emperor. I was feeling that energy all night last night. And when I tell you he gonna come in, he coming in right. It's gonna be some things that I'm gonna know for a fact. Now I ain't gonna spit all of them. I'm just gonna spit a few. But one, he is never ever. Um he's gonna come in completely healed. He's going to come in already doing, look, 1441 was on the clock. He's going to already have his healing work done. Um, he's definitely never, ever going to tell me that I'm crazy because of what I do. 
because he's going to be spiritual as well. He's going to understand spirit. He's going to respect spirit. He's going to respect the spiritual throne that I sit on because he's going to be sitting on his shit right next to me. He's going to be able to tell me who I am in spirit. He's going to be able to tell me who he is in spirit. He's going to be able to tell me about the first time that we met. Okay? He's going to be able to tell me all that. And when I tell you he's going to value me, he's going to value what I do. Shit, hell, his ass may be intuitive too. Give me something on this lady of the gifts. So somebody definitely has something coming in. Listen, and they know it too with this vision. Somebody knows it. Give me something on this. Listen, up. heavy on the lightness. I can't make it up. We got lightness right here. And then it's on this adaptability, the dragonfly. It says the dragonfly is a symbol of light and change. It is a reminder of you to bring a little more lightness and joy into your life in order to bring about the changes needed to reach your full potential. Approach things lightly and divine light. I'm heavy on the light. Ah, I love it. Give me, give me one more on this spirit. One more. One more, please. Something on this material world. And this receiving. I feel like with this generosity and receiving to the withholding, I feel like somebody is going to be blessed because they held back from something. And this may have been something that didn't serve their higher good, but they released it with, without judgment. Listen, I can't make it up to the damn vision again. The heavy ego. When I go do my Amazon blocks, egos follow me all the time. One was literally right in front of my car, just like flying right in front of me. I was praying he didn't shit because I had just washed my car. <laughs> I say it is time to look inward with an attentive eye. Allow your heart to guide you. And opportunities never dreamed were possible would present themselves when you least expect it. Get ready for greatness, baby. I can't make it up. Somebody is finna be in a very in a leadership position, and this is finna be a cycle in someone's life. Like somebody has been to go through a really um beautiful cycle in their life and they know it too with this visions. Listen, I can't make it up. Courage to the freedom. Someone had the courage to end something that was uh, holding them back. Oh shit, we got the fire prince. Somebody may be aggressive. <laughs> somebody may be aggressive. Just give me three for this one, spirit. Someone tried to cast an illusion on, on, on someone, but with the freedom, somebody broke free. It didn't work. Someone was trying to separate with someone from the source, from divine source. Give me one. Give me one. That's your person said. Give me one on this non judgmental. That baby, I can't make it up. To them, inner power. Listen, grief in reverse. I said someone is not judgmental. If they had to leave a person, place, or thing behind, like, no, but somebody is not carrying any um, negativity in their heart regarding the situation. Of course, they're an indigo child. Listen to the guidance. I feel like I, with this guidance to the withholding, I feel like somebody knew that they had to adapt and like change something in order for them to be able to receive this wealth and this abundance. Where are we going from here, Jack? Yeah, they had to put an end to something. But, that, but listen, but that's what's going to help someone survive. Like, that's what's going to help to, uh, propel someone. Listen, I can't make this shit up, baby. Come through spirit and validate your girl. Like, somebody, it, so, 
because someone ended something, it's not going to be a death of all of this wealth and abundance that is coming to someone. And baby, I can't make it up to the libations. Somebody's ancestors is listening. It won't be a death of this new beginning. Someone may have tried to come in and block this new beginning for someone. Someone may have been being optimistic about this, whatever this material wealth is, and someone may have come in and tried to convince this person that it was an illusion, that it was a fantasy. Listen, I can't make it up. Get your ass on that porch. Get on the porch. <laughs> My bad, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, someone was trying to come in and rob someone of this. Or I feel like not even rob someone of this gift. Because like I said, somebody didn't believe that this is going to happen for someone. I feel like someone may have tried to come in and rob someone of their inner power. Oh, baby. Somebody tried to come in and rob someone of their inner power. But with this sacred ritual to the pre preparation and the pair. Listen, I can't make it up. They did not get their wishes fulfilled. Someone may have been trying to attach a dark energy to someone. But it's a strong fuck no from the universe. And whoever that person is, is mad as shit. Somebody's pissed. Somebody thought someone was going to be depressed. Shit, but the stress in reverse to the triumph in reverse. It was a strong fuck no. <laughs> it was a strong fuck no from the universe. Give me something on this well. What's going on with this well, spirit? What's this receiving and withholding? You see, I can't make it up. I'm telling you, somebody get this. Spirit is granting this gift to someone. Yeah, they somebody had a deal with spirit. And I feel like it's if, if they were obedient and they were able to, if they let spirit guide them. I can't make it up. It's the agreement on the bottom there that is sticking out for me. I feel like someone had a, a contract with a God about what they would do when they um, came to this earthly plane. And I feel like whoever this person is did exactly that. You may be a person that shows a lot of kindness. You may be a light being, you may be a light worker. Look at the way that light is shining on there. Someone is a light worker. And they may show people a lot of mercy. I can't make it up with this reflection to this. The non-judgment that is sticking out for me. Somebody may have showed someone a lot of kindness, a lot of mercy, even when they came in on this, this uh deceptive energy. Oh, we got confessions in reverse. Someone may not be being honest. Somebody is not being honest about trying to trap someone. And Spirit is saying that yeah, someone can be honest because someone is not judgmental. It's like someone, because with me, anytime somebody does something that um, is negative, I try to figure out why they, look, two, three, two, three on the clock. I try to figure out why they in that space. What was their childhood like? What were they taught growing up? What were the morals and values that they were taught growing up? Mm. I'm saying 2332 too. Give me something else on the spirit. I'm not saying confession. Somebody needs to confess. Yeah, I can't make it up because somebody knows. Somebody knows that someone came in to, to try to do them something dirty. I can't make it up. And somebody else got proof too and evidence that somebody is definitely going to be wealthy. Somebody may feel this. I say all the time, shit, uh, what God has planned for you, the devil know too, right? And right before you get to your blessings, somebody, they will send people in to detour you and get you stuck in a karmic loop. But somebody couldn't fulfill the promises that they made, and now they stress it. What the hell going to happen to them? Yeah, schedule. Look, somebody couldn't, <laughs> somebody couldn't interfere with a plan. Yeah, well, they're stubborn. Somebody was selfish and arrogant. Now this person may be paranoid and distressed because they came across somebody that was an expert. I feel like whoever this divine light is, whoever this light worker is, whoever this indigo child is, I feel like this person um, is an expert. 
and not only interpreting uh, people's uh, feelings and emotions, but also shit, they may be a um, alchemist as well. Listen, I, I can't make it up. Whoever it is having sweet dreams. Somebody finna have sweet dreams and lazy days, baby. I can't make it up to the damn triumph and success. Come through spirit. We got triumph and success. And once again, to the okay. Sure. Somebody is going to be all right. Yeah. I, what did I say? I said, when you getting ready to have your blessings, somebody tried to come in and obstruct this person. It's the obstruction for me. But somebody went straight to their altar and prayed, sugar. Woo. And somebody else might, damn, natural disaster to the damn game, to the damn curse. Somebody tried to get someone to risk their uh, prosperity, and now they cursed as hell. Misfortune and catastrophes to the hate. Shit. Oh, where are we going from here, spirit? Oh, wait, we doing... Doing tomorrow. Listen, I can't make it up. Somebody came in and tried to deceive this person, but we got the five of swords in reverse. I can't make it up to the damn sun. I said this person is a light worker. They shine the light. This reminds me of the video I watched the other day on chosen ones, where are we automatically illuminate the things that people try to hide, and it's naturally. I said, I feel like this person is an expert. I feel like this person just does this naturally. Listen, I can't make it up. Somebody tried to come with somebody pentacles. We got the five of pentacles in reverse, baby. I can't make it up to the damn queen of pentacles. Somebody is definitely going to receive their uh, material wealth. And, and listen, I can't make it up and they know that. I said somebody had an agreement with their ancestors. It says, when you make divine intelligence your foundation, you finally have a fixed star to follow. I feel like somebody is definitely, um, you could be a star C. You could be a star C, chosen one, indigo child. I feel like those are all, um, those are all gifted people in their own way. But I feel like this person, do this person have all these gifts there? Listen, I said this person is non-judgmental, right? But whoever this person is will definitely be judged by God. You'll be judged by God for this. And that's because you touched one of their chosen. You tried to comfort one of their chosen. The Spirit said, that's Ace of Swords, facts. I can't make it up to the damn Queen of Swords. Speak, I'm speaking nothing but truth. Somebody is going to have to um, answer to the gods for this. Because somebody is in their purpose. That's why no supernatural things could be attached to this person. That's why someone wasn't able to rob this person because they're too intuitive. With the, intuit with the ace of wands to the adaptability to the sweet dreams, somebody is definitely an alchemist. Somebody thought somebody was going to be in this mad energy, but all they did was go, they went in and transmuted it. Give me one more. Give me a couple more on this spirit. Then we're going to pull out of this one. But listen, baby, I can't make this shit up. Who, baby? Boop. The Empress. Someone has mastered all of the queens. Someone has mastered all of the queens. Stability, harmony, and acceptance. I feel like this is an energy that accepts themselves. Someone has accepted their mission. Somebody answered God's call. Listen, I can't make it up to spread love, baby. Somebody answer God's call. Ooh, we. Hmm. Well, this empress is finna see, receive like a lot of love. Who's she finna get some love from? Listen, and a lot of passion should go come through spirits. <laughs> oh, somebody finna receive a lot of love and passion. What we got going on here, Spirit? I just seen the damn lovers to the damn Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take. I'm telling you, somebody is going to celebrate this woman. Somebody's going to love to... I feel like somebody's going to love to show this woman off. 
I feel like this person is going to listen and, and she's going to be so protected and motherfuckers going to be big mad because they ended a connection with this person and it ended a connection with this person. They ended their stability. Uh, who knows? Damn. Who we? And they're going to be stuck with a queen of cups in reverse. Damn. To the ten of pentacles in reverse. Chat. Who, what is going on with this, with this, with this empress? What's this? Two of wands, a new path. Yeah, this person that came in to rob this person may have came in like a lover. Listen, can't make it. Hmm. Can't make this shit up. You got the seven of wands to the high priestess, baby. Yeah, somebody is definitely tapped in, tuned in to the king of cups. I'm telling you, somebody is going to love the shit out of this woman. They're going to love this woman. They're going to love her gift. And they're going to make sure that she is protected while she works. Five of wands in reverse. I can't make it up. Uh, and anybody come in, got like I said, they're seeing the world card. Anybody come in trying to play with this woman, this man is going to be uh, in his feelings. Like, he ain't going. He is not going. Yeah, he's going to be very... I feel like he's going to be possessive over her, but not in a toxic way. It's like he's going to understand the importance. I can't make this shit up of keeping her safe while she works. He's not going to fear. He, like I said, with my master, this ain't my story, but I'm just saying, with my, when I, yeah, that's, that's probably my story. But this person is going to understand the value in what she does. She's maybe being praised publicly while she does what she does. And he's going to make sure that she's safe while she does that. Dang. Mm. Listen, I, 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 I can't make that shit the fuck up. <laughs> I can't make that shit up. Come through the spirit. I said that anybody try to come to this woman with any conflict or drama, baby, uh, come, that she's going to come to a complete halt. Death to the chariot in reverse. It's going to be a skirt. <laughs> it's going to be a skirt around here. Well, where are we going with this spirit? Okay. What the, where we at? 32? Okay. Yeah, someone, I just seen the um the sun card to the Venus in reverse. Yeah, somebody didn't somebody didn't show this person any love. Or well, they did, but it was it was with an agenda. This man, this masculine is gonna have genuine emotions for this person. I can't make it up to the damn Venus to the Ace of Cups, baby. I can't make it up. Someone may try to cause conflict to this union. Shit, that wouldn't be a wise idea. I mean, just the blowback that you're going to get from God herself. Give me some. Give me two more on these here, and then I'm going to pull out of this one. You're going to go to a dark one. As you may be seeing someone. Damn. Somebody that likes to party out of town, maybe freeing themselves. Listen, you may be realizing that that um, energy caused you a bunch of losses. It may have caused you to be rejected. I can't make it up. Somebody, it doesn't have a lot of self-worth. You may be looking for um, validation through external things like, you know, women or men taking how it resonates or drugs, alcohol, like. And someone may be realizing that that may be a reason for a lot of their losses. Someone needs to do some um, some inner work. I said earlier, somebody needs to go back to the beginning and, and relearn. I feel like I say all the time that if you, um, with your spiritual work, if you have not relearned, if you have not dismantled what you were grew up on and relearned things, then you ain't went through no dark night of the soul because dark night of the soul is stripped you. It will strip you of everything that you thought was important just so you can sit with yourself. Give me something else on this game. Yeah, we got present, abundant, and gratitude. This man is going to stay present with this woman. It's like his mind is not going to wander. He's going to be so um, enveloped in her presence and in her essence. That I feel like, because he's going to understand that how abundant 
They are. I ain't going to say she is. They are. He's going to be grateful for this woman. I say all the time, when you're grateful for something, you ain't going to never, ever put, put your situation in a place where it can be compromised. You're not going to ever put yourself in a position where you will be able to lose such greatness. Because this woman, whoever this feminine is, this is a woman of greatness. And I feel like the world is finna. Listen, I can't make it up. This is a woman of greatness. And she, this woman may have had to distance herself from someone. Because this person is in their purpose. Like someone wanted to sidetrack somebody. I can't. I can't make that shit up. Someone wanted to come in and try to cast an illusion on this person, but not with this Ace of Wands. This Ace of Wands, this person sees everything. Look, rebirth in a and this person may have went through a rebirth in the winter. Somebody didn't listen to their spirit guides when they committed to something. With this deception to the temptation, yeah. Ooh we. Somebody may have told you the skies was the limit, and then you may have connected with the person, and um, it was not. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to get up out of it. Well, we're going to end this one here. But this is overall beautiful energy. Now I'm going to pull some toxic stuff, because I notice when I do the good videos uh, with all this beautiful energy, y'all don't watch those. Y'all want the karmic videos. <laughs> y'all want the karmic videos, but I feel like I want. I need to do a balance of both. Because y'all be needing y'all messages too. <laughs> y'all be needing y'all messages too. So we gonna um, pull out of this. But this is somebody is really getting ready to be blessed by the universe. Because they definitely did their spiritual work. This child, she gonna bark at everything and walk past. I mean, but I guess that's her job. <laughs> I let her do her job. Lightness. Somebody is... With this lightness, I feel like, I don't know why I feel like light speed, the speed of light. Shit, somebody might carry that energy within them. Somebody's intuition may work at lightning speed. Mm. Somebody is definitely going to have a beautiful new beginning. Somebody is going to have a beautiful new beginning. And that's because they ob stayed obedient to God. Speaking of God, look, y'all. They still keep making me touch this fertility, dog. Look, we're going to rub it on down. We're going to rub it on down. I, look, I am open to receive. I am open to receive. I am open to receive, baby. Let's go. Because every time it always rock and make me have to touch it, but I'm I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Yeah, with this guidance, I feel like somebody is definitely listening to spirit. They are definitely doing their thing. I know I'm gonna be hungry as hell after this. I've been fasting too, so I'm gonna definitely have to go find me something to grub on. Have to find me something to grub on. Um, that goes there. It's nice outside. I should pull it there. I should barbecue. Mm. I just am mad. I just am mad. Um. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm fucking ready. <laughs> we got, hey, Shirley, this is Barbara. Somebody may be wanting to reach out to either the main woman or the other woman. Take that shit how it resonates. Here we go with the foolishness, y'all. Here we go with the foolishness. <laughs> that shit is funny as fuck. Stay in your lane, boo. <laughs> Stay in your lane. Nothing ever good comes from that. <laughs> oh, shit. Nothing good ever comes from that. That all was always weird to me though. Cause I know when I call my when I call a motherfucker cheating, like I my issue was never with the other woman. It'll be come here, motherfucker, to that nigga. 39, 39 on clock. Because at the end of the day, you uh you trying to hold 
the other woman to the standards that you should be holding your partner to. You want the other, you want another woman to respect your connection when the person that you said I do to or you lay next to, they're not respecting connection. Your issue is with your fucking man or woman. That shit has always been wild to me. I went straight to the source. Come here, motherfucker. <laughs> I went straight to the damn source. And I only did that one time in my life. And after that one time, anytime a man felt like he wanted to see another woman, I let him have his free will. But don't get mad when I exercise mine. <laughs> don't be mad when I exercise my free will in this bitch too. Because I'm not going to be no the type of woman where are you in the connection and you the only one being faithful and honoring the fucking connection in your person name. Y'all just move the fuck around. In one connection, I said, I said, fucking went on and got me a mate too. Then after that, I just started cutting motherfuckers the fuck off. This shit, you for real. Shit, they say let them always let a person do what they want to do so you can see what they rather do. Listen, <laughs> expose. Come on. Uh, Spirit, can we get their energies out of there and pull my energy back, please? And shut and close those portals, please. And thank you. Oh, shit. We got divine feminine in reverse. Okay, so we have a toxic female. A toxic feminine. Yeah. You know the karmics, man. To the damn high priestess in reverse. Somebody may have been pretending like they were gifted. Listen, we got haunted in reverse. Somebody may have been saying that someone wasn't a divine feminine. They may have wanted someone to um to feel some type of way about that. But but with this haunted in reverse, somebody didn't give up. Huh? Somebody didn't care. Give me give me a couple more. Give me two more spirit. We got never saw it coming in reverse. So somebody definitely seen somebody definitely seen something coming. Somebody definitely seen something coming. I seen destiny in reverse, um, codependency in reverse. So someone may have wanted to be someone to be codependent in a connection. Um, but what I see on the table is a strong fuck no. Once you start becoming codependent on other people, you put yourself in a precarious situation. Because the same person that's able to feed you is the same person that's able to starve you. Listen, I can't make this shit up. Somebody talking about somebody wasn't a divine feminine baby. I can't make it up. Damn, Queen of Cups. Yes, the fuck she is. I figured somebody was lying. Somebody thought they was going to be able to snake somebody and walk away without feeling any type of guilt. Um, and, uh, yeah. That didn't happen. <laughs> uh, we got haunted in reverse to the debauch. This is the seven of cups. It's like um, somebody wanted someone to be an option. And this debauch too, that's an ex excessive sexual pleasure. Um, somebody may have thought that they put the wine down so good or the or 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 the or the wop, whichever one, um, so good that they would uh come crawling back to them, but uh, with this haunted in reverse, that shit didn't happen. That shit didn't happen. Yeah, I, you know what? Give me, give me something on this damn. Never saw it coming. In reverse. I was going to say, why alarm's going off? We said, never saw it coming in reverse. So somebody saw the death of something coming. Um, I feel like this. Look, now she's going to get the howling with the damn. <laughs> with the damn. <laughs> Y'all give me one second. 
with this never saw it coming in reverse somebody saw the death of something coming for so maybe someone saw that someone was trying to make them codependent on them maybe for sex but with the seducer in reverse the seducer in reverse that's a strong fuck no i hope y'all can't hear that damn thing yeah that's a strong fuck no with the seducer in reverse um everybody ain't hypnotized by sex like especially not a spiritual person this is the, this queen of cups this is somebody that likes that dives into emotions like they don't get it's like are you fucking kidding me okay thank you okay maybe not i'm gonna pause for a second y'all until this shit stop Okay, y'all, we back. I wish they would let us know when they finna do that shit. Well, maybe we not back. Fuck it, I just gotta keep going. And then it's gonna get something out. Somebody don't want me to get this motherfucking message out. But with this never saw it coming in reverse to the death, I feel like this Queen of Cups knew for a fact that someone didn't appreciate her as a divine feminine. Someone knew that someone just wanted uh, to try to get them codependent on them with this seducer in reverse sexually. But with this codependence in reverse and this death card, um, this person may have put an ending to whatever this connection was. Shit. Wait. That shit just threw me all the way off, man. <laughs> It's like, yeah, just a notice. Like, hey, we finna blare this alarm for like, <laughs> maybe I can't make it up to the damn well. Crack the deck on the well for this queen of cups. Somebody didn't value this woman as a divine feminine. Somebody didn't um, honor her. Listen, I can't come through spirit and validate you, girl. I can't make it up. To the damn high priestess i said high priestess to the boss this person knew that someone um that's why this person not haunted this person is not haunted because they know that they have options with the seven of cups they know that um what's for them is for them you hear me give me some somebody wanted to get someone in an energy where they were never satisfied with them like they always wanted to have them um but yeah that shit did not work Listen, I can't make it up to the damn will of fortune. Come through spirits. You got death to the will of fortune. I feel like someone is going to be blessed because they ended this connection with whoever this sexual energy is. Listen, I can't make it up. Damn, seducer got exposed. <laughs> he got exposed like some bitch with the sun. This high priestess, yeah, she was on her, she was on her business. She was at her business. What we got? What we going from here, spirit? Yeah, somebody came in trying to play games with somebody, and that shit backfired like some bitch. These ain't even supposed to be. In. Listen, I can't. <laughs> and them ain't even supposed to be in there. Remember to the damn harvest. Somebody knows who exactly who the hell they are. And once again, I feel like somebody definitely had a um connection with their spirit guides, with their ancestors. These damn cards are glossy than a bitch. <laughs> I'll be glad when they get broke in. This is, a, yeah, with this seven of cups. I said this person may have tried to put this person in competition. But a true divine feminine don't compete. We complete. And the difference is the L. Shout out Janelle Ayako. I hope I'm saying her name right. She, what she tells, what she tell Big Sean, I don't compete. I complete. And the difference is the L, and the L is the love. Like, this is a queen of cups. This person ain't never finna compete for nobody's cup. Like, because once again, with this debauch, she knows that she has options. That shit crazy as hell. Somebody really tried to put somebody that knows who the fuck they are in competition with someone. And now since somebody is not on um, competing, they may, somebody may be want to stalk them, or they may be stalking them, take it how it resonates. Can't make it up. I said when somebody ended this connection here, they turned their will of fortune for the good. Baby, I can't make it up. Said peace, luck, the start point of the journey. Yeah, somebody is finna go on a new journey. Shit, luck to the damn well, baby. I can't make it up. Come through spirit. <laughs> Listen, I can't make it up. Beautiful things will endure. Because somebody is not haunted by whatever this person tried to do. I don't know if they want to try to keep this person in mental conflict. Knight of Swords. This person thought he was game master. 
That boy just observation in reverse. He didn't see something coming. I, I can't make that damn, I can't make that shit up. Never see any coming in reverse. He didn't see that shit coming. But this high priestess did. Damn. Woo wee. Now somebody has to endure the suffering sugar for um, trying to be deceitful with someone. Yeah, I can't make this up. I said that somebody did not see this person's work. You got the gemstone. What does shit say in the upright? Precious and beautiful things, but that shit came out in the reverse. Somebody didn't see how precious someone was. Somebody didn't see how beautiful someone was. But fortunately for this queen of cups slash high priestess, she knew how beautiful she was. Damn. Give me something on this high priestess. I'm hungry as hell, man. I gotta go eat. We got safeguard in reverse. Chat. It says protect new life, protect dreams. Yeah, somebody didn't think that, that somebody didn't know. They said they never saw it coming. Somebody didn't know that someone was protected. Somebody didn't know that this high priestess was protected. Or they wanted to remove this person's protection. Keep it high. Take it how it resonates. Give me something else on this never saw it coming in reverse. High priestess, she damn so she damn sure saw that shit coming. Yeah, she knew somebody was undisciplined. That's why they didn't see something. It said abide by the principles and act in concert. Somebody didn't abide by the rules. So that's why their asses is in torment right now. I said, what did I say earlier at the beginning of this? I said divine order. With this high priestess slash therapist, things needed to be done in divine order. And whoever this person is, with this safeguard in reverse too, they may not have any spiritual protection. Ain't that shit how it resonates? This sun tearing my ass up. Shit. And the fan on that shit is no good. Give me something on this codependency in reverse. What we got? Mm. Damn. We got daybreak. This is the last obstacle before the emergence of life. Baby, that shit came out in, re in reverse. And we got torment to the daybreak in reverse. Somebody is going to have problems on top of problems. For trying to come in and play with this energy, man. Listen, I can't make this shit the fuck up. Somebody can have problems after problems. That's the safeguard in reverse. Somebody is not protected. Damn. What are we doing from here, spirit? Hmm. Somebody was doing too much in somebody's energy. Somebody was doing team too much. Um, where is it? Let's see, let's see what's the thing. Listen, giving money in reverse. Yeah, somebody may have tried to um somebody was trying to get in on somebody's blessings. But somebody rejected their offer. I mean, if they offer was just sex, I mean, I feel like it for you men. Oh shit, that always that feel like y'all want to be in these um quote unquote side nigga positions where you just feel like you want to come in and just be a sexual partner to somebody with this debauch to this damn seducer in reverse. Um, you need to understand, sir, that you are the lowest man on the totem pole. So if somebody decides that they need to let a connection go, you will be the first to be let go because you're not bringing any substance or value into someone's life. So um, for all of you men that like that position, just understand that that position doesn't last long. Take that shit, how it resonates. <laughs> Take it, how it resonates. Yeah, somebody with a bad reputation was trying to um, offer, attempt to get someone an offer. Shit. <laughs> listen, I can't bad listen, bad reputation with a fake flex and child. There's somebody that put it on like they like they're financially stable, but um they now got no coins. Somebody now got no coins. Give me something though. Give me one for each one of these spirits. <laughs> Baby, I can't make this shit up. I said haunted in reverse. Somebody is not haunted at all. I can't make it up. Crying over you in fucking reverse. Somebody's not crying on somebody. I can't make it up. Somebody does not have love on the brain for somebody. 
Mm, chat. Somebody tried to turn someone into a queen rise, and somebody didn't want to see this queen rise. They hell haters. <laughs> but this person doesn't have any bad karma. Mm. Give me something on this. This person has good fortune with this will of fortune and the upright to the wealth. The child can't make it up to the damn broke ass. Somebody, and somebody may be, um, they, who chat? Ooh wee, their addictions, your addictions may be causing you to be broke. Somebody may spend a lot of money on their addictions, cocaine, drugs, heroin, take it. I mean, cocaine and drugs is the same thing, man. <laughs> or cocaine, shit, heroin, chat. Toxicity, somebody may, ooh, that's somebody's fate, chat. Hmm. Give me, give me something else on this video. Damn. Danger to the bad habits. Somebody may... Hmm. Somebody might get a hold of some bad drugs. <laughs> Shit. You got a stalker that's a happiness hater in this moment. <laughs> Somebody a happiness hater. Say, looking for dirt on you and vice versa. Dirt digging. That came out in reverse. Somebody may have tried to dig up some dirt on this person or tried to manufacture some dirt on someone. But um, with that being in reverse, be saying it's a strong fuck now. Give me something else on this bit. Oh. Mm. Whoever this high priestess is, she's going to get her travel on. Mm -hmm. Somebody may have wanted to fight this person for no reason. They ain't had no facts. <laughs> but that person was unfazed in this small fight. Somebody wasn't worried about none of that shit, yo. <laughs> Somebody wasn't worried about none of that shit. I can't make it up. This divine, oh, this uh, what, queen of cups, she turned down and offered some more. Because they felt like that shit was blood played out. Mm. And somebody over here ain't going to be able to dodge them damn bullets that's going to come towards them. And I don't know if that's in real time or if that's just figuratively shit. Take it how it resonates. What in the fuck is this? Somebody may be spying on someone because they know they're speaking truth. Child, have this damn deck in here. <laughs> Yeah, I really need to go through all these decks because I'm sure this ain't the same. Yeah, but somebody is spying on somebody. And they know they're speaking true. Mm -hmm. Somebody have been, may have been waiting on the opportunity to do something to somebody. It said observe, wait for the opportunity, wait for the opportunity. But somebody put a depth to something before <laughs> somebody put a depth to something before somebody could get their plans off. <laughs> oh shit. Because they saw that somebody wasn't disciplined. Um, this is someone that didn't may not have respected divine order. Um, five of pentacles I see over here. This is somebody that may be um spiritually um poor. Shit. The honeymoon phase is over for some shit. Somebody need to ask, somebody need to ask for help from above. Somebody needs uh to ask for assistance. Yeah, completeness to the renewal. That's his Jeff to this damn will of fortune. Yes, baby. Give me a couple more of these, baby. Oh, I gotta go find food. I had to go find food. Transformation to the wholeness. Yeah, this Queen of Cups is definitely um somebody didn't see this woman's worth at all. This person could have um presented someone with a uh a, a renewal. But somebody came in on some bullshit. Now they ass in danger. Somebody spit a team on somebody's ass. Heavy on the transformation. Yeah, I can't. Spirit, come through. Come through. We got alchemical force to the darkness. Whatever dark energy, whatever sexual energy, <laughs> whatever sexual energy that somebody tried to like um use against someone, baby, they transmuted that shit. I can't make it up. I want to make sure you see it. They transmuted that shit. Mm-hmm. 
somebody thought someone was going to be haunted by this energy but they just changed it into some with this queen of cups she may have changed that into love and light but listen i can't make it up to the damn healing why because this person is not ordinary this is not ordinary with meditation to the order i'm telling you somebody went in with somebody went within whoever this queen of cups is she went within and whoever this broke ass um addict is <laughs> whoever this broke ass addict is got exposed listen and this person's process listen oh, to, to, to be fair baby i can't make it up and because someone came in, and, and I don't feel like it's just because someone came in playing with this energy. I feel like this Queen of Cups was always going to receive this luck. They were always going to see, receive this prosperity. And the reason is because that's their justice. That's their justice. We got my eye out here, justice and gay. But we got prosperity, justice to the truth and, and fairness. So this is to be fair. Whatever is going to happen for this person is to be fair because of all the bullshit offers they got. Like Spirit saying, hold on, baby, we got you. You stood in your inner power around here. You wasn't running around here in grief fucking over people. We're going to reward you. Listen, creation to the righteousness. Somebody took it all the way back to the beginning. I feel like, too, <laughs> yeah. We got hope in reverse. Somebody else feeling hopeless. Damn. Mm. We got the hope in reverse to the danger, to the bad habits. Somebody might intentionally try to OD. Mm. Let me pray for us, dear. Yeah, somebody might somebody might intentionally try to OD. I don't know why I see this heroin here. I don't know if somebody does heroin. Damn. Let me go on with this there. I'm telling you, somebody feels lonely. Shit. Yeah, it's dark without you. Somebody may be missing someone. But this person had to let you go in order to, like, to find themselves. Somebody couldn't be weighed down. Damn, with the will this ever change in reverse? Okay, give me shit. What was the truth? Somebody doesn't want to face the truth about something. We got childhood trauma in reverse. Someone didn't um, heal their childhood traumas. I'm going to assume that this, this person over here. And then we got my life is a mess right now in reverse. Like this Queen of Cups and this High Priestess, their life is um, not a mess right now. Somebody is really um, walking in their purpose. You got somebody over here that's just broken. Mm, somebody got to do the work. Somebody has to do the work. Somebody need to work on their spirit. I, got, I cry at night in reverse. Yeah, somebody is not haunted. Somebody's whole purpose was to try to come into somebody's energy and to make them feel um, like to, to lower their vibration and get them in like this sad, depressive energy. But that shit, is, it's, that shit didn't work. I can't make a decision in reverse. Somebody definitely made a decision in this motherfucker. Oh, shit. Somebody. How could you ever give the mess I made? Yeah, somebody know they messed up. That's why they over there in this depressed energy. Mm. Hold on, I'm going to pause y'all for one more again. Okay, y'all, we back. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Um, Yeah, with this I cry at night, I'm telling you, sexual desire. Somebody was trying to do a sex fail on somebody, and that shit was a strong fuck no, man. Um. Mm. 
me go off of here, Spirit. Y'all know I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry as hell. Yeah, someone needs to deal with their childhood traumas because they out here leaking on people that, uh, they out here bleeding on people that didn't cut them. But uh, whoever this, um, whoever this Queen of Cups is, this alchemist here, because this woman is definitely an alchemist. She changes everything to love. She converts everything to love and light. Mm-hmm. Let me pull a couple more out on these and then I'm going to get up out of here because I have him in desperate need of food and hydration at this point. I think hydration more than food. Mm. We got to listen to life. I am attentive to the world around me. Signs and symbols guide me to success. I listen to the discover. I listen and discover the way to the eternal. Yeah, definitely. Somebody may definitely um feel like too. Now listen, acceptance to the inner beauty. This Queen of Cups knows exactly who she is and she loves it. Give me give me just, just two on here. Give me one on this person and one on this person. Eh. Somebody over here, man. Somebody is feeling hopeless. Listen, I said this is divine. I said this um this Queen of Cups slash high priestess accepts who she is says, I am true to myself and others. I remove my mask and stop creating illusions. I have confidence in who I am. I reveal the good in me. I do not need to hide or prove anything. Hey, look, I say, I replace shame with the power of love and truth. I'm telling you, somebody may have tried to make this person feel ashamed about something that they, about um sex, which is crazy because um that is the divine love. Um, but that did not, um, that didn't work. Once again, alchemist, somebody is not afraid of showing who they are and they're not afraid of standing in their power. Man, come through, spirit. It says, open to the universe. I can't make it up. I am discovering my worth and my abilities. I have the confidence in my value and my potential. I reclaim my inner power. Let, uh, come through, spirit, and validate you, girl. I claim my inner power. I accept and love myself completely. Thus, I am open to the divine light of the universe. Yeah, somebody came across somebody that has so much self-worth and so much clarity with this high priestess on who they are that the games that they tried to play never would have worked on this person. Damn, inner work in reverse. Yeah, this person needs to do their inner work. Damn, it says God brings me ideal situations for my inner healing. As I become more aware of my weaknesses, I turn them into strengths. I direct my thoughts toward the light and see the positive side of every stage of my life. Darkness turns into courage. Thus, I get stronger. But this came out in reverse. This person over here needs to do their inner work. One step at a time, Spirit says. One step at a time. Somebody's not, you're not going to go from um, being unaware to being wise overnight. Somebody needs to take baby steps, starting with their addictions. Because it seems like someone's addictions is costing them financially. I can't make it a harmony in reverse. Yeah, somebody definitely needs to um, encourage in reverse. Oh, protein. Somebody needs to um, do their spiritual work. And on that, y'all, I'm going to have to get up out of here. Oh, wait. Spirit said do some mudras. We're going to do a, a couple of mudras that y'all can use the other, that y'all can use throughout the day to ground your energy. Listen, I can't make it up. For well, whoever this person is, this mudra is for you. The art of change, transformation. Let me hold that up so somebody can get it clear. Because somebody needs that. It says, this mudra refreshes the spirit and gives harmony. I can't make that up. What I just pull out? Harmony in reverse. Come through the spirit and validate, validate you. Girl! It says, this mudra refreshes the spirit and gives harmony, balance, and equanimity. It said, make sure your arms are horizontal and keep your hands up as high as your throat. While you are performing the mudra, imagine a bowl of lemons in front of you. All but one are shiny and flawless. The odd one out has an ugly mark on it. Whether you get annoyed about it or not make... or 
whether you get annoyed about it or not make no difference at all, the mark is there and that's that. The best thing is to squeeze all the juice out of the lemons, add a good portion of the sugar and make sweet lemonade out of the situation. Yes, I am so clever and ingenious that I can use any situation to my advantage and I make sure the greatest good comes from all of it. Yes, yeah, somebody really needs to do that. Alright. So we got charisma. You are beautiful. And look, we're gonna do that one too. For anybody that has doubt in their self-worth that you don't feel like you're worthy, baby, you are beautiful. You hear me? Everybody is not the same. Everybody is beautiful in their own right. So you can do that one throughout the day. Let's see what that one says. Said this mudra is good for the back and stimulates your circulation. Look after yourself and your appearance. Treat yourself with the respect which you deserve and meet your fellow human beings with goodwill and a helpful and positive attitude. Be generous with understanding and sympathetic smiles and you will find your appeal increases great, quite on its own. People with charisma are attractive. They and their enthusiasm are infectious. Try this out on the inside at first, then let the images show on the outside. You will be astonished at the results. It says, I smile at life's mirror and see benevolent and beauty. Hey, uh, indeed. <laughs> indeed. Give me one more spirit and then we're going to get up out of here because it's a, I said one more. Jeez. Listen, I can't make it up. Enthusiasm, a new start. Someone needs to understand that they have a new start. You have every day you wake up, you got a chance to do it different. I'm gonna say that shit again. Every day you wake up, you got a chance to do it different. If you caught in a cycle that um you don't feel is um serving your highest good, you have every day to change that. Let's see, enthusiasm, a new start. First, let's start there. It says, this mudra helps at the start of things, like a new project or when you plan a change in your circumstances. It activates the energies needed to get for getting down to it, for keeping going, for patience, and for optimism. Regularly starting anew is, look, confirmation. Regularly starting anew is as much part of life as the spring is part, is part of the year. Even the oldest of trees produce new branches, leaves, and blossoms. And the smallest beginnings can produce great things. A fresh start brings new impetus. Pulls one out of rut, presents a welcoming challenge, helps us to dare and bring excitement and success into our lives. In your mind's eye, you can already see what is freshly emerging. Work on the picture until it completely meets your needs, desires, and possibilities and fires your enthusiasm. It says, I start afresh and taste the beginner's eagerness. So, yeah, somebody may be encouraged to start new. I can't make it up stability in reverse. Um, somebody doesn't feel stable where they are. And we're going to get up out of here on that one, y'all, because I need to go find food and hydration. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for y'all likes, y'all comments, y'all shares, and subscribes. We will definitely come back on later and do another one, I think. <laughs> I'm going to try to. Um... But I'm definitely going for food and hydration at this point. Everybody have an amazing day. Peace.